Hi, I'm Mike from Cine Studios. In this quick little video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the custom shaders included with Polygon Sci-Fi Worlds. First step is we'll get some nice post effects on the camera. Um, this can be done pretty easily by going Window, Package Manager, which will bring up this window. We then come through here and we find Post Processing, uh, and then we can click Install. That'll install the Unity Post Processing version. Uh, this can change depending on if you're using URP and Standard. I'm using Standard here uh, in 2020.2, I think it is. Uh, and yeah, we'll basically just apply this to the camera. We'll just add some anti-aliasing, um, maybe a little bit of ambient occlusion, some bloom, uh, nothing too strong. Something we can reuse across the scenes, uh, but this will definitely help the look. So I go to the main camera and I just add a post processing layer and then I change it to layer everything and then I turn it to fast approximate anti-aliasing that will now have anti-aliasing then I have to add the volume I click is global and then I create a new uh, post processing uh, profile which will just create one here and then we can just add some effects so I'll just start with uh, ambient occlusion um, let me just turn a few of these up I'll change it to scalable that's more similar to what we use in the older version um, just have something like that maybe just subtle just to add a little bit of depth to the scene because we're using fog uh, it does help so I don't know something like that's probably fine and uh, then we'll just add a bit of bloom nothing too strong on the bloom uh, I'd like putting the intensity up a little bit but then the threshold down uh, so we do something like that high threshold low bloom Uh, and then we'll just add a quick color grade as well. Uh, and this is mainly just add a little bit of temperature uh, and a little bit of contrast, just so we can have a little more contrast in there. So, I mean, that's really basic. You can do a lot more stuff. Uh, you know, you can thicken up the fog and whatnot. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to use some of the custom shades we've included. So one of the big things about this pack is we've included this cool um, skybox uh, system. So um, each planet will have its own um, skybox which has these planets in there so if I go file save uh, and then I can change to a different scene and I'll show you um, each planet will have uh, different things happening in the background so I think this one yeah has a planet as well and then there's also the Explorer one has some cool stuff happening so uh, what I'll show you quickly is how to edit the planets uh, they're really basic I think probably the core planet is the easiest one as you can see they're here uh, you can basically select the planet and then you can go to the material here and there's a few options So there is actually the ability to turn off the blending if you want to have a solar planet or a blended planet You can then change the amount of blending um, I'm just going to turn that off for now. So it's a little bit easy to see keep in mind These are global. So these are shared between the scenes So if you want to make a copy just make a copy of the material and edit that uh, And then you'll be able to edit it per scene um, You can change the tinting if you don't like that color you can make it any color you want uh, you can also change the uh, planet um, lightness uh, if you need to. Uh, you can also change the rim intensity. So that, as you can see, there's a mask there and there's basically the intensity of the rim light. Um, you can also change the glow. Now this only works on some of the planets, uh, mainly the, um, the rings of Saturn. Um, and you can change the glow intensity as well on that planet. But uh, you just you can see that when you load up the, the different planets for that one. And then, yeah, we've just turned on the soft blends. It's nice and easy. You know changing the planet settings um, another thing is the, the skybox in this uh, we have a really cool sky dome shader pretty basic but easy to change colors if you wanted to make say like the sky way brighter in color um, you know you could you could really push these values pretty hard and make something really crazy um, and then you've got your offsets which can be used to change the um, the amount this is actually really you gotta be quite finicky with this but you can go up and down you can change where the offset is um, you can also change the distance so you can have it softer if you want you can have it much more foggy uh, and then you can also go the fall off as well which just basically does um, the hardening of the edge so there you go that's the skybox shader um, there's a few other cool shaders in here i will go back to the scavenger planet and i'll show you uh, the plant shader which is one that we've included um, so this is really basic it's just in the uh, shaders folder actually no sorry it's in materials um, plant alts and then it's plant animated so you can put that on anything uh, you'll just need to tweak the emissive color uh, because it's probably not the best color uh, and also the ambient occlusion with this will cause issues so you do need to tweak the ambient occlusion settings for these plants but I'll just turn that off for now um, 
So probably have like no emissive on that. And then the plant color tint as well. Um, actually that plant color tint only works on the ones that have color. This one does not. So as you can see, uh, that will actually, I can put that on um, a bunch of plants in here. You can make a, um, a duplicate of this and change the um, material if you, uh, the texture if you want. So if I just make a copy, I can switch that out to one of these other colors and I should get you know different types of plants. So we can actually have two different versions of that in here and then we can have those animated. This will work on most of the plants. I did uh, add vertex color to most plants. So I think some of the smaller shrubs, maybe not. Uh, but certainly a lot of these ones here will be animatable. So if you press play, uh, you'll be able to see it all together. Um, and then they will animate. And there is a few settings on that as well. So you can tweak, uh, if I go here, you can tweak the um, the wave size. So you can have them like wiggly and wobbly, or you can have them much slower. I think slower looks better. You can also change um, and have bigger wind on them as well. I would have that relatively just left where it is and then there's also the speed for the small wind as well if you just wanted a bit more wobbly but a little bit more movement in it as well so you can control those um, there's a few options there there's also the emissive color so you can have them glow if you want that's kind of more important for these kind of ones um, that have glow on them so um, you would basically control the tint there so you probably these ones have customizable color so you can choose whatever you want but you could have like a really dark plant with a really bright emissive on it and then you can control the emissive so that there so you can do kind of more like alien -y looking things um, but that's kind of a special case for those ones they're a little bit different to the other plants uh, and you can do that on any of the planets and it can be customizable you can drop it on these things and, and, and control that as well uh, and you can use the tint if you need to uh, but it's not completely necessary so for example that one there and then you can change it to be whatever color you want just like that so that's just one of the cool little uh, materials we've included there that's just kind of a bonus um, you know so have a play around with it it's not actually included by default on anything just because it's a little bit easier um, to have everything static just without making too many copies and things but it's there as an option um, other materials we have that are quite cool is we've got the uh, environment shader so for example um, we can take this planet and we can change the color really quickly so if i find the material for it uh, which is here uh, under materials click on that boom there it is uh, you can actually tweak this really quickly so i could maybe make this like an ice planet really fast that's the cool thing about this you've got the road color as well um, and then we just change maybe the rock could be a bit darker uh, something like that and then we come over here we go window um, um, general you should know where is it lighting so we use different versions here this is the uh not the version we always use um, and then you just come to the environment tab so it'll load up this window here you come to the environment tab come in here and then you can see there's a fog setting we can actually tweak the fog setting um, now what we want to do with the fog um, if you're not seeing post effects by the way you need to click this thing here just the um, post effects button um, so as you can see we can turn the fog on and off uh, and then what we want to do is we maybe want to make it like more icy so we could probably go with like more of like a blue color or something maybe a little bit like that um, you could have it quite thick actually if you want to uh, I'm in play mode so none of this will save but that's okay uh, and then you could maybe tweak the sky if you wanted to to be kind of maybe more ice colored if you just maybe make the top like that and then the bottom maybe like kind of like a blue color or something maybe like that you could kind of change the color so um, you can really quickly change the look of the planets and make them kind of like um, different really fast um, you can have snowfall on things if you want so you could take that same material and apply it to stuff and it will because it's using a um, triplanar it will actually cast on top of stuff so you can have kind of like that snowy look on top of the models depending on the type of model it is it may not work um, you know on angled surfaces but most of the time it's pretty pretty effective and that's also the same with the dust as well and also like grass if you wanted um, you will get pebbles and things in there um, but that's just part of the shader just to make it nice and simple to use um, you do have some customization on that though so like for example you can change the um, the norm map size if you need to um, you can also change the pebble scale uh, if you want to have that in there if you wanted to get rid of the pebbles you could probably just switch the um, the rock mask out to just one of the blank textures I think we've included a black mask in here um, yeah so you could get rid of them just by doing that um, which is fine there is also a noise in here you can put one of the noises in here if you want um, and it will actually noise up the surface uh, but I don't think there's actually a scale for that at the moment so uh, it won't actually scale at all 
and I don't think you can change any of these settings. So um, maybe we'll put a scale in there and you can have some scaling ability for that. That seems like a pretty obvious option. Um, but for the time being, uh, yeah, you can just use that for breakup. So yeah, there you go. There's just a really quick little hacky change in this scene. Um, I'll go to one of the other scenes just so you can see, uh, you know, the look and change. Uh, hang on, the look change in the scene here. Uh, so we'll do the same thing. We'll just add the post effects uh, layer change it to fast approximate and then we add the post fix volume click on that now we can actually use that same volume we had we just basically click on the camera and just drag it in and it will just add the same post fix and just make sure the layering is turned on um, and just make sure that I clicked uh, layer everything there you go and it's global cool so there we go we just got some post fix in here so same thing you can click on the, um, the level uh, find our material click on it and then you can change it to whatever you want so you could make it like much more Mars like if you wanted you could go um, I guess Mars is kind of like a red planet right so probably something like that almost maybe a little bit darker um, and then you could also change the rock color to be a bit more Marsy too maybe uh, kind of like that probably a bit darker so you could go for like a Mars look pretty quick um, keep in mind as well that Unity by default will have a pretty short shadow distance so you can go project settings um, and then you can come over here to where it says uh, quality you can actually change that shadow uh, distance up to like say a uh, thousand and then we're getting shadows in the entire scene um, as you can see 150 is, is, is really short so you're actually losing shadows past about here um, whereas we want that much bigger so we can have shadows uh, in much more of the scene that'll help a lot with most projects so yeah there's some quick changes there um i also have included a where is it i've got to find it uh there's a color customizer uh so if you want to customize the colors you can go hard and do that so let's put that on there um i have the ability to change the primary so you could go i don't know the, you can kind of choose whatever you want with this it's pretty random uh you could also choose color secondary and you could go like that if you wanted to we have some alts included that kind of match it anyway uh, but maybe it's like the opposite uh, it's just you've got the options here and this will also do the characters as well so if we've got a character in here uh, which character should we choose this dude um, we can put the character customizer on them color customizer and then we've also got the ability to change the skin color which is really handy to have um, in case you wanted to do well anything really um, you can kind of make them a little more alien um, and then we've also got the uh, color here. We've got the hair color in here as well. So you can change the hair color to be whatever in case you want to. Uh, and then once again, you've got the same primary and secondary, depending if the character has a primary and secondary slot in use, you can customize those. So that's just another little bonus one in there. Uh, and then I think the last one is the, uh, is, the is basically the base triplanar, which I think I have maybe in the miss folder. I know where it is, it's in scenes, um, the black market, so if we go to the black market I can find it, it's on the, the ground in here, so you can see this texture here is the triplanar, which is in environment folder as at the end, so there you go, so the triplanar um, can be added to anything basically, and it will just add grunge to it, now that grunge does have some settable parameters, you can change the tiling amount on it, you can have more grunge, less grunge, um, it can be quite powerful so if you've got a stack of buildings like this you'll have to make a duplicate per co uh, color you want um, but you could go through and you could grunge up the building really quickly uh, and, and kind of change the look of things uh, relatively uh, fast and we do use it on the ground just to add a bit more detail and scale so um, really powerful little um, shader there and, and that can also be used with previous packs um, if you want you can just swap the texture out it won't have as many complex settings uh, but it does have the normal map and the emissive in there so it might be okay um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, most of the stuff with the shaders. Let's just have a look and see if there's anything else that's, any, uh, that's interesting. I think most of it's just diagnostic shaders. We've got like a graffiti in here you can use, which is quite cool. Um, they're just a decal, so you can just place those wherever you want. Um, and they should light correctly. They will take lighting, which just they won't cast shadows or anything. Um, and they do just kind of pop on top. So they're not perfect, but they're nice and usable. That's kind of the main thing. Um, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just, you know, some pretty basic shaders that allow you to do a lot of stuff really quickly and I think um, you know I think people really appreciate the fact that you can change the look of the planet so quickly uh, one of the screenshots we did had this planet here which is an ice planet 
um, actually set to um, a grass planner and I think it's you know it's just so quick to be able to change uh, things around um, that way so if we go like that there you go and then maybe the, um, the rock color is more of a brown color uh, like something like you have to play around with these colors it's, it, it takes a little bit of um, finagling but you get there uh, there you go let's pretend, pretend that's it and then also the dirt um, and some roads so we'll probably just have those as like a So there you go, you can change the, the look and feel of these planets very quickly. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could go through and you could customize uh, the plant materials on these things. And you could make them kind of more grassy if you wanted to by changing the color. Um, I'd probably go with something a little bit you know, kind of more interesting, maybe they're yellow, and you could just go through and assign those to the, um, to the models. There is a, um, a free material assign script. Um, if you just search for it, it's on, I think on the Unity forum somewhere, so you can mass apply. Um, to models um, and that's real handy to have um, but yeah I mean pretty basic stuff but uh, I think there's a lot of potential with um, some of these shaders that people can use in their projects uh, if you need to edit the shaders you can do it by Amplify we use Amplify Shader Editor uh, I don't have it currently in this um, project but yeah it's, it's pretty basic you just double click on the shader you can open up the graph view of it and then you can make edits so um, really easy to do um, and really quick Actually, one last thing um, before I take off. Uh, this is a cool little shader. Uh, well, it's not really a shader, it's just kind of a little cheat we did um, for the portal. That actually gives a really cool, um, in conjunction with um, a particle effect. Let me try and stick that particle effect, there you go. In conjunction with this particle effect, um, we've got this cool effect here. Now, this is actually just a rendered cube map um, of one of the planets. Uh, you can do this really easily. I could actually go through and make one um, right now and I'll show you really quickly how to do it. But if I go to scenes and I go to say uh, the black market, um, I can actually just create a probe somewhere cool, I guess kind of in here. If I just go game object, light, uh, reflection probe, and then I just pop that in there like that. Um, and then I need to change it to real time. That'll get a real time probe. And then I need to go uh, to do a bake of that so I should know I go custom uh, dynamic objects and then I click bake and then I choose a place for it uh, let's just go there that seems fine it'll actually do a bake of the um, for the probe now that is actually um, something that is in the project so that I can go back to my other scene on the save court planet uh, don't save I don't think I have to save that um, I can actually come here to where this probe is and I can swap this out with um, another probe. So then I can basically have um, the black. Well, you could check, obviously change the resolution. It's probably a little bit low. Um, but yeah, you can you can have anything you want there. So you could have that portal lead anywhere by just basically doing a really quick um, probe bake um, and just, you know, having the resolution a little bit higher. Um, you could have this portal go anywhere really and vice versa it could come back to this planet as well So um, really cool little cheat there um, really simple effect that uh, you know, it only takes a few clicks to do um, So yeah, just something that's that's definitely worth having a try see if you can go through and create a few little portal um, Locations and also you can get rid of that if you want um, And just have nothing there totally fine do some sort of other effect uh, But I think it's kind of cool gives a cool little effect there. So um, anyway, that's uh, Polygon Sci-Fi Worlds. Uh, we're really proud uh, about this pack. It's, um, it's got some really cool worlds included. Um, you know, it's got a little tiny planet inside a dead planet with a little city on top of it, which is really cool. Uh, and it has um, the Explorer planet, which is now Mars, <laughs> which um, it comes kind of set up as more alien space. We've got some alien artifacts in here. Uh, we've got a scavenger planet which I've converted to snow but it's, it's generally like a, a dusty wasteland. Um, this, this actually comes with some pretty cool um, shaders. Let me just, uh, sorry effects, I'll just show you quickly. Um, obviously I've changed a lot of settings in here so it may not be perfect. Yeah there you go. So we've got a uh, little ships floating around in the sky. Um, let me change the sky back to something more interesting than that. We've got junk floating around, uh, we've got ships flying uh, back and forth, uh, we've got some silhouetted ships as well, even higher up. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking little scene there. So um, yeah, I hope you guys really like Polygon Sci-Fi Worlds and um, you know, hopefully we can keep making cool stuff. Thanks very much for the support and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.